Hey, what is up, guys? This is FNH here, and today I am going to be starting a brand new series. And this series, I will be doing one algorithm a day, right? Programming algorithm a day, right? And you know, just to help you guys improve your algorithm taking skills as well as mine, right? So this does, you know, help me learn a lot as well. So yeah, it's going to range from very, you know, some wouldn't be really easy, not too easy, but, you know, from the easier side to more mid and then some hard. So I'm going to be focusing more on the, uh, you know, mid-level um, algorithms rather than the easy or the hard. You know, there definitely will be some of either one. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Today's algorithm, I am basically going to show you how to remove duplicates from an array without using any collection library, all right? So I'm doing it in C-sharp, right? Um, you know, it's very similar to Java, you know, and if you're using a different, um, you know, language, it doesn't really matter, the concept's still the same. So yeah, let's get started. So I have the bare bones here where I have a array declared, right? And then I have a new array which basically calls a method. And this method is going to be the one that uh, removes the duplicates. And then I am looping through the array to print out the numbers uh, one by one. And, um, and then the read line is just so the application doesn't automatically close. All right. So I can, I'll just do keep it to write. All right. Um, so yeah, so now let's, um, I want to create this method. Okay, so it takes in an array, and it returns in returns an integer, integer array. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take that array and sort it. Okay. So the benefit of this is so we have all the duplicates uh, next to each other. Okay, and you'll see in a second why that's good or why we need that. All right, so the next thing what we want to do is basically create a result array. So new int, and then this int is going to be the same length as that, the input array. And the reason I'm doing that is basically the existing, uh, the duplicates is going to replace the duplicates with a zero. Okay, so I'm not going to completely remove it from the array. It's, it's just going to be replaced by zero. If you want to remove it from the array, um, you know, you could do that. But uh, this specific one is just going to be uh, turning into a zero. All right, so next what we want to do is basically we want to call a variable called previous previous and that will equal to the zeroth position of the array. All right, so the reason for that is we're going to be looping through the array starting from the index one. Okay, so we're going to be comparing one with the previous, which is zero in this case, and then um, that's how we're going to be doing the comparisons. So we're going to be going, uh, we're going to be looping, whichever value is being looped through, we're going to compare it to the previous value. All right, so we have that and then uh, result sub zero equals previous. All right, so um, in this case, we're taking the result, you know, the, the zero position, whatever the previous value, or I should say the first value of the array is, we're assigning it to the um, first value of the result array. All right, so now let's loop through the um, array int i equals one. So we're not starting at zero. And now as long as i is less than array.length and then i plus plus. Okay, so in here, we're gonna be calling um, int num, okay, equals array sub i. So that's just whatever the um, value is at the ith position of the array. <laughs> if previous, it, if it does not equal to num. <coughs> okay, so here's where we're doing the comparison. Then result sub i equals num. Okay, um, and then what we want to do is we want to update the previous 
um, value to basically what the current ith position value is. Okay, and what we want to do here, let me fix the indenting, and now we just want to return result. Okay, so that's basically it. Okay, so you know, you can see. Um, I have one, two, three, four, three, one, five. So there's two sets of duplicates. I have the one and one here, and then I have the three and three here. All right, so now let's run this. And here you can see, you can see the one, zero, two, three, oh, four, five. All right, so one, so you can see the zero and the, the both one zero is the one. So it, it's in this order since we, if you guys remember we sorted it first. Okay, so technically it'll be one one two three three four five. Okay, but we basically removed the first one and then we removed the first the the second one I should say and the second three and we replaced it with zero. Okay, so that's um pretty much the gist of it, okay? So that's basically how you would remove duplicates uh, without using any collections, all right? So yeah, that being said, um, if you do want to actually remove the value from the array, um, you know, you would want to, I guess, not give it a fixed length, right? And then, you know, that that requires another more some more work and, you know, maybe I'll make another, algorithm video on that but you know this is basically it you know i i know this is asked in a few interview questions um i've seen it online myself haven't been asked to do this myself but i've seen it online definitely people have been asked this so yeah um if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below um you know i'd love to help you guys out if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time